My name's Alan Hart and today we've got the new Baxi IFOS kit. So this is the weather compensation kit for the Baxi combi boilers. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open the box up, I'm going to look at what we get inside the box and then we're going to fit it onto this boiler and then I'll go through the display and we'll see how it works. I've not fitted one yet so this is the first one I've actually seen so we're going to open it up and we'll see what it's like inside. So let's have a look inside the box. So that's the sensor, clips into the flue, and then you've got your wire that goes down, air intake. We've also got a wiring kit. And there's a few clips in there as well. And then the most important thing of all, the instructions so when we look in the instructions on page 2 it tells us the list of boilers that this is compatible with so on there we've got the Duotech we've got the Platinum we've got the main elite combi range we've got the Potterton Pro Max combi range we've got the Potterton Gold combi range and the Potterton Titanium combi range and that's in your group A boilers and then we've got group B boilers which is your Baxi 100 and your Potterton Pro Max Ultra Combi range and then you've got your group C so group C you've got your Baxi Eco Blue and then group D we've got Baxi 200 we've got a Baxi 400 Combi range and then we've got Group E and Group E we've got your Baxi 600 and we've got your Potterton Ashore combi range as well. When you go through these instructions it tells you different ways to fit this for different boilers so on some of the boilers you will need this kit and then on other, other ones of the range you'll just need this one so I'll show you with this one what we need to do. So this one is the Baxi 600, so this is the new compact combi from Baxi. So first of all we're going to turn the power off to the boiler and we're going to check then for safe isolation of the electric to the boiler. This boiler has actually got the Nest thermostat wired in, so for demonstrations of this video I'm going to disconnect that and we're going to wire the Weber Comp sensor in instead. So now we're going to remove the case on the boiler. So always remember anybody who works on a gas boiler must be gas safe registered. And it's very, very important. In my daily life, I constantly see people that's messed about with gas and they cause no end of problems. So always use a gas safe registered engineer. So I'm going to remove the flue on this one because it's nice and easy because I've not cemented this one in yet because this is just a demo boiler. So we've got a Xyphos outdoor sensor. So very very easy, just get us wire, this is a bit long but we'll, we'll cut this down once it's inside boiler. Um, so by the looks of it you just slide that just slide that down inside just clips in nice and easy so it just clips on Nice and easy. 
So we're just going to put his wire down the inner flue here. Being careful not to put the wire near the heat exchanger. So we need to root it away from the heat exchanger. So it goes on nice and easy there. And as I say, just root this away from any heat source down here through into these clips. So for the Baxi 600, we're looking at page 12 of the instructions. And if you look on page 12, it shows you the terminals we want is number four and number five, which are these brown wires here. So I'm just gonna wire this into here now. These wires that are loose here, these are for his nest thermostat, they were wired in as open firm. So I'm just dis disconnecting them for now. So if we can see there, we've connected the wires in, where the brown wires are. So that's number four and five. Right, so now we're gonna switch the power on. So now the boiler is calling for heat. And again, if we look at page 12, it tells us what to set as curve on, on there. So I've just looked and the outside temperature is about nine degrees. So we would expect that outside temperature nine, about there. So if we set that curve to 40, we would expect this temperature to go to about 39, 38-ish, which doesn't seem far off. So with this, Baxi have made it really simple to comply with the new Boiler Plus regulations. So you can just fit this outdoor sensor into the flue and you can just use your standard controls. So whatever controls you want to use, you can use and they will work on the time as normal to switch on and off on your normal settings. And then the, the weather comp sensor, what that will do is if the temperature outside is higher so say it's 20 degrees outside then the flow temperature in the boiler will be lower hence that will save you some money on your gas bills and when it gets down to say minus five degrees in the winter months then the flow temperature on the boiler will be higher so again it'll balance out and it'll save you money in the long run so i hope you enjoyed that video um, it is the first one I've fitted of these so I've tried my best just to go through it and just show you it so hope it was useful thanks for watching